Hello again, I am Blunty and I sound terrible right now. Not my voice. Well, my voice is a little hoarse. I think I'm getting sick from my recent travels, but the reason I sound so bad is because you're listening to me through the onboard microphones on the camera. A cardinal sin as far as audio quality is concerned. But now I have switched to this thing in front of me, which is the Rode Video Micro. Now, those of you who have been following my videographic adventuring for quite some time now will know I love my Rode Video Mics. I used to use this, which is the Rode Video Mic Pro, which is fantastic, lovely audio quality. But the problem is it runs off a 9 volt battery. And when I was shooting at events and things, I was forever leaving the thing turned on when it was in my bag or overnight at the hotel. And that I was just burning through batteries. And sometimes I would burn through both, you know, the active battery and my spare battery and I would be balked for the rest of the thing it was just you know it was a user error but it meant that this thing as good as it sounded wasn't ideal for me so then this came out which is the Rode Video Mic Go and I've been using this ever since it hit shelves I think I was one of the first people in Australia to buy one of these things and I love it to bits it sounds fantastic it, it works without a battery it's powered by the camera uh, and you can get a cable like this little fella here to use it on an iPhone as well as your uh, standard camera uh, microphone input and everything. And I love this thing to bits. It has been an absolutely flawless workhorse for me for a couple of years now. And I had no intention of replacing it. This was the go-to mic when I was out on the road shooting and stuff for my on-camera purposes. But when Rode announced this and its brother, this one, which is the Rode Video Mic Me, uh, these are basically exactly the same microphone, but this one is designed to clip onto iPhones directly, whereas this one has a standard 3.5 mil camera output although again you can use that cable i was talking about before so you can use this one on an iphone as well and the only thing you really have to be aware of if you want to use the rode video micro on an iphone is you'll need somewhere to mount it because it has a standard hot shoe mounting there is a, a, a screw mount underneath you can use an adapter to go down to a quarter 20 screw mount which is more useful than the larger microphone boom pole mount that it's got by default underneath the hot shoe uh, but other than that as long as you get this cord these microphones are going to uh, uh, perform identically on the iphone okay so by way of practical example you are now listening to me on the onboard microphones on the iphone the iPhone 6s Plus in this instance, you'll be able to hear a little bit of traffic noise in the background. I've got a window open over there. We're in a relatively small room, so you'll be able to hear a little bit of echo and reverberation. Echo and reverberation? Are they two different things? I don't know. At this point, I'm just sort of waffling so you get a good idea about how I sound through this microphone. All right, so now, of course, you are hearing me through the Rode Video Mic. Me, I am the same length away from the camera, sort of one arm's length or, I guess, a selfie length away from the camera. <laughs> same conditions in the room, same window. Same amount of traffic noise. Can you hear that? You probably can't hear that now because the off-axis rejection on this microphone is really, really good. I'm going to get up in a moment and I'm going to walk over to the side of the uh, uh, iPhone so you can get an idea of the off-axis pickup. So I'm going to do that now. Here I go, walking off over to the side of the uh, iPhone and I'm completely side on now. Uh, and you should still be hearing me pretty much the same, exact the same test I'm going to Go around the side of the iPhone and you'll be able to hear me disappearing off as I go into the side axis. You'll be hearing me a little bit less now, although in a small room like this, the reverberation will account for some of it. So I'm going to move around to the back of the microphone now. Here I am, uh, microphone back of the iPhone. I'm round the back of the iPhone now. So again, you should be hearing me pretty clearly because there is no particular uh, strong directionality to the onboard microphones. And now I'm around the back side of the camera. You'll be hearing me from the back end of the microphone. Can you hear me as clearly? I don't think you will be able to. Off-axis rejection is one of the things I love most about this microphone. It's not just the difference in sound quality because frankly, the onboard mics of the iPhone are pretty good just for sort of simple talking head stuff out in the world, but for getting rid of the noise around the outside, the stuff going on for picking up what's in front of the camera more clearly or indeed behind the camera if you flip the microphone around, which is what I did at the Detroit uh, International Auto Show thingy. What was the name of the thing? I don't know. But I, I, <laughs> I did a bunch of booth tours using the iPhone, uh, using the microphone pointed backwards at me so I could wander around and, and talk to the camera and reject all of the noise that was coming around from the outside. Now, for this, I used Filmic Pro, an app, uh, which is superb for video recording. It let me do 4K and anamorphic stuff. And most importantly, it lets me control microphone levels because I was very close to the microphone, you know, speaking behind it, I was able to ramp down the microphone sensitivity, which helps reject the, the, the 
the, the noise of the convention floor even more so. And as you'll hear right now, I'll show you a clip, it worked superbly well. I'm so happy with how this worked. Hello again, I am Blunty here at the 4 booth at the North American International Auto Show here in Detroit. Alright, more cool techie stuff to look at. This is the exposed bones of a Prius, believe it or not. So, hybrid car, so we've got the engine up front there, powertrain, batteries at the back. But again, it's just really cool to see these stuff exposed so you can see, you know, how it's put together. And they both come with these wind, uh, little dead cat windsock things, which I love. So, if you're shooting outdoors, that's an essential. But that's how it looks like just on its lonesome and the iPhone one has a little clip here to you know keep it orientated on your phone and keep it in place and although that's just you know clutch power there there's no sort of special clip or anything that uh, has proven to work very very well and kept it very very secure when I was shooting with it uh, in the Detroit Auto Show and speaking personally I originally intended just to buy this one the Rode Video Micro because I thought well I've already got the adapter cable I can use this on my camera and on my iPhone I'll just switch it between the two when I need to but as soon as I started testing this thing in my home I realized that it actually sounds better than the Rode Video Mic Go. And I'll show you a side-by-side -side example here in a minute. But not only is the sound quality nicer, a little bit richer uh, from this than this, but despite this being a longer shotgun microphone uh, versus this little shorty, uh, the side-on and rear rejection is actually better on these than it is on this. So you get a lot less noise from uh, the back and the sides, which is essential if you're you know, shooting in the world like I was at, at an auto show with this thing. All right, so here's your side-by-side. -side. Here is the Rode Video Mic Go and the Rode Video Micro. And I'll go ahead and switch back and forth between the two at sort of random points between this little speech I'm giving as I'm waffling along. And hopefully you'll be able to hear what I heard in my uh, test. And I did do more expansive tests than this, well, which sort of outside and inside and sort of as I'm walking around and on camera and off camera and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do now is try and give you an idea of the off-axis response. So I'm going to pick up these guys nice and carefully so I don't introduce too much rumble. And we're going to go side on. So here we are in the side on comparison. And I'm very close to the microphone. So this isn't going to be a perfect test. But if we turn them around now, I'm going to go for the rear address of the microphone. Settle, quiet. There we go. So now I'm speaking from behind the microphones. And both of these microphones should be rejecting a lot of the back uh, noise back here. But I found this one. Uh, in, in you know real world field test performs much much better than this one does so pick them up nice and gentle now we'll zip. that's probably going to sound really ugly i'm sorry headphone users but there you go now you can tell me in the comments section what you think about the uh, audio quality difference between these two because they do sound slightly different which one you prefer may be up to you unless you're doing sort of side by side comparisons or indeed switching between mics for any purpose you won't really notice uh, the, the, the way this performs versus the way this performs but you know in an overall world you know if you're making a decision which way to go this one has a lot of benefits going towards it so there you go that is the Rode Video Mic Me and the Rode Video Micro both superb and I mean superb value for money this is you know I used to say this was the best bang for your buck you could possibly get in an on-camera microphone no I don't know whether I'm ever going to use that ever again because these are cheaper and better and they come with the, the fluffy windsock so you can use them outdoors a lot easier. I mean, I do. I did get an aftermarket little windsock for that thing so I could use it in, you know, out in the, out in the breeze and stuff without any worries. But the fact that these come with those just makes them even better value for money as far as I'm concerned. And there is no question of it. These things are my new workhorses. These are absolutely fantastic little things. I'm so happy and and, and congratulations to the, to the road audio engineers who designed and developed these things. Um, you did a fantastic job. They ignored me when I asked them to, um, to send me some review gear, by the way. When, there was, when these were first announced, I was really excited about it. So I dropped them an email. I said, oh, hey, this is who I am. This is what I do. I've been recommending your mics for years. And here's the other reviews I've did of, done of your microphones. Do you happen to have any of these sitting around so I can review them? And they went, nope, you'll have to go buy some. So I did. Um, but then I found out that I'm a little bit jealous about this. But some of my um, fellow... Australian video bloggers, they got sent some. So I don't know who I pissed off at road, but someone's annoyed at me over there. Wouldn't send me any gear to review. Not that I'm at us, because like I said, <laughs> they're cheap. They're super cheap. Um, inexpensive. Let's use the word inexpensive, because they're not cheap. I mean, they're made really well. I haven't spoke about the build quality, have I? They're, they're, you know, they're really nicely put together. I mean, they're solidly built. They don't creak or squeak or anything. The plastics and stuff feels really nice. The little clutchy thing feels really nice. The, the hot shoe feels nice and solid and uh, sort of strong, so you're not going to break that off in the field when you're sort of knocking things about. There is. I don't know whether there's anything I could I could 
recommend to to improve on the design of these things. Oh, the other thing I didn't mention. <laughs> I should have written this stuff down, but it's too hot to think. Um, there's a, a port on the back there for your headphones on the Rode VideoMic Me. So when you are recording with your iPhone, if you are using an app like Filmic Pro that allows you to live monitor, you can actually monitor directly your audio uh, being recorded uh, so you can make sure you're not huffing and puffing and popping and blowing and all that kind of stuff, uh, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, no such thing on this microphone. So unless your camera provides that functionality, you won't be able to do it with the Rode Video Micro. And not all cameras do. In fact, very few of them do. So in a couple of ways, the, the, the one for the iPhone is actually better. So, <laughs> But there you go. That is the Rode Video Micro, Rode Video Mic Me. Please do the thing where you drop the comments in the down below and do the, hit the buttons and do the things and all the, the pleasant stuff that helps the, the stuff and things. I don't know. Thanks for watching. I am Blunt here. We'll catch you next time. And uh, yeah, if you don't buy one of these, you're an idiot, basically. I mean, why would you not? At what point do you, do you say, well, I need a good on-camera microphone uh, and, and, you know, I don't want to spend more than $100. At what point do you go, well, no, these are these are not for me. You're an idiot. These are going to be so popular. These are going to be everywhere. You know, if, if you meet me at an event uh, and, and you see me shooting and I'm using one of these and you're shooting as well, you're a fellow YouTuber, I'm going to say, where is your Rode Video Micro and Rode Video Mic Me? And if you say, oh, I haven't got one yet, I'm going to call you an idiot and walk away from the conversation. You're not even worth talking to unless... No, I'm not going to be that kind of a dickhead. But that's, that's how passionate I am about this. That's how impressed I'm about this. Anyway, I'm rambling now. The video is longer than it should be. <laughs> Signing off now. Thanks for watching. I am Blundia. We'll catch you next time. <sighs>